You might think wounded warriors who've lost an arm or a leg in combat would have a difficult time getting back to a normal life. But new technology is making that comeback a lot easier. Our medical editor, Dr. Paul Little, joins us now. Sir, what have you got? Randy, one of the most difficult things when you've lost your legs is learning to walk again. And it's a thousand times more difficult if you've lost both legs or if the amputation is above the knee. But an incredible device is helping one soldier overcome those challenges. It's a warm spring day at Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington, and Lieutenant Colonel Greg Gadsden is out for a walk. But the TV reporters keep getting in his way. Gadsden is demonstrating the latest generation of the power knee developed by the Oser Corporation. It takes twice the energy a normal person expends to walk on prosthetic legs, but these legs have a built-in advantage. All the other prostheses that are available are passive devices, so this actually has a motor in it and can help propel somebody with a missing limb forward during their uh, walking. And we're back on the Newswatch set here. Joining us is Colonel Greg Gadsden, the guy we just saw featured in the, uh, the little piece that I did. Colonel Gadsden, thanks for dropping by. Thanks, thanks for sir. bringing the power knees with you. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And there were two major changes that you really like. First of all, they're, they're lighter than the, than the others. And the second is the, uh, is the battery life. It's incredible. Tell us about that. Right. Um, uh, these legs are, uh, you can, as you see them, they're, they probably are physically close to the same size that uh, a normal leg is. And so um, that, that uh, weight difference definitely makes a difference. And the, uh, the first generation legs only had a battery life of about four hours. And so these legs uh, have a tremendous battery life. In fact, the battery life is about uh, 16 hours per battery. Now I understand uh, you can adjust uh, the way these walk and the way they help you walk uh, through Bluetooth technology. Tell me about that. Well, um, our prosthetist, uh, that's the guy who's responsible for, you know, putting the legs together and, and building the sockets and, uh, that you wear, um, has a computer that he can, and the software to look at each in knee individually. And so just using uh, the Bluetooth te technology, the same uh, technology you use to talk on your phone, he can communicate with the legs, he can monitor how the legs are responding to you. And so as you, you know, as you become a more proficient walker, you can, um, you can convey to him uh, some things that you're feeling or you don't like, and he can make adjustments to, to really customize the legs to you. How about, uh, how about giving us a little demonstration? Sure. Um, you know, one of the things that uh, th these powered prosthetics do is they, they actually help you stand up. You know, a passive prosthetic, when you sit down, um, when, you, when I have to get up, I have to um, use my arms, mm -hmm. uh, especially if I'm sitting you know, if, if my butt's below the, the height of my knees, yeah. that's, a real, that's a real chore to get up. These legs know I'm sitting because of the angle of my leg, and when, I, when I'm ready to put weight on it and stand up, it'll help me stand up. Okay. So. Wow. <laughs> As you just I saw I have to push myself out of the chair there. Yep. That just pushed you right up. Yep. If, uh, okay, yeah, I'll put this one for you. Okay, now the canes help you stabilize as right. far as your balance? Well, it, they do, and they're right now kind of a security blanket. Um, because you know, you've only had them 10 days, right? I've only had them 10 days. That's all right. Well, so, show me a little bit here on our running path that we've got here in the studio. Okay. That, that is really amazing. Yeah. What would you say to our uh, wounded warriors out in the field who maybe have uh, lost a leg, both legs? Uh, how does this look for them? Uh, what kind of opportunity does this give them to look forward to in the future? Well, um, first of all, the first thing I would say is that you just had, it's all about your attitude. You gotta be optimistic. And uh, you know, the, the, the technology is part of it, but I think your heart and your attitude are the, are the bigger part of a recovering. And it's really just having an attitude that uh, you know you want to get back into life, and you want to you want to you want to find what that new normal is, and that's the that's the first step that I tell anybody. And I, and and this is just one of of many promising technologies that are out there, and, and uh, that our government's behind, and and that our nation's behind us. And um, if you got the right attitude, there's you know the sky's the limit because uh, these things are just going to keep getting better. 
Colonel Greg Gadsden, uh, you were a true soldier, and it's been a pleasure having you here on uh, Army News Watch. Well, thank you. I appreciate it.